Hi, my name is Judy Taylor Wright, and for the next few moments, I'd like to tell you a story about my relationship with Mary Magdalene. Um, I just recently finished painting Mary Magdalene. As a matter of fact, she was completed at Easter this year, which I thought was very synchronistic. Now, I'm going to step back in time and tell you how she first came to me. My original sense of Mary Magdalene was through an aroma inside my head off of the right side of my ear. And that's how she first reached out to me as an aroma. I knew that somewhere down the line I would be able to uh, connect in with her more deeply and so I just allowed that to be. And over a period of months she managed to move from inside my head to into my auric field or at least that's what I would call it. It took me about six months and at one point in time I woke up in the morning and I thought, okay, I've finally done it. I've finally integrated enough of the energy that together we could make this perfume and which we have over here. What we have here is the essence of Magdalene in the form of a perfume that I have done with high quality of therapeutic essential oils. When Mary first approached me as she had inside my head and when the formula came through, I thought, wow, this is really high alchemy. Let me tell you a little bit of some of the oils that are in there. There's hyacinth and, and hopefully some of you will have worked with hyacinth and, and bergamot and lavender and tuberose and narcissus and rose damascena, carnation and some others. This has been cooking, as I call it, for a period of time so that the, the, the blends, it can become a new blend. It becomes the essence of Magdalene, which it has now done. Here is the perfume itself and, and the feedback that I've been getting on this has been absolutely marvelous. People are going into visionary experiences of their own or they can feel their body essence is changing or their vibrational essence is changing and they'll say, how can I get some of this? I want to take it home with me. This perfume here won the Best of Show Award for a new product and is going to go mainstream. How exciting is that? <laughs> About a year and a half ago, she came to me again. Now, I am a visionary artist, and so in some respects, I guess it's not unbelievable that she would come to someone like myself. But she approached me and asked me if I would paint her portrait. I said yes, not knowing exactly what that was going to entail. It took about two months before the time was ready for me to prepare the canvas. I work in acrylics, and as an intuitive artist, how we work, or at least the way myself and my friends work, is we do a background. And you pick up the background and you simply paint the background, such as this, like this. Just a simple background in any way, shape, or form. And then you allow it to dry, and you put it up on the wall, and you look at it. If it doesn't feel right in one direction, you look at it in another direction until the direction feels right. Well, Mary showed up immediately. And what I saw was the roundness of her face and kind of the depths of her shoulders. And over here in the corner, in the original when I first started, was the outline of Yeshua. As the painting progressed, Yeshua went further and further into the background. It's not that his energies isn't do not exist in the painting, but they're in the realm of the invisible. Although I had someone earlier today said, I see Yeshua all around in here. It was quite a process to bring her through because the painting is so exact. It's like I felt I had to be not only an artist, but a mathematician because there's a lot of sacred geometry and this geometry an explanation of which will come forth in the book that is currently underway. This represents 22 vesica Pisces, and if you don't know what a vesica Pisces is, it's if you take two circles and you put them over and overlay them, overlay them, then the, the overlaid period in the middle is called a vesica. And for me what happens is I go into visionary experiences. I simply pop in into this flame and then I am transported into an experience. And this will all be part of the essence of Mary and what she would like to portray. This is a story of her. 
When we decided to come to Inez, I had just finished a paint class one day and she said, Judy, she said, I would like you to go and get some beads. She gave me a formula, which is also has sacred numbers in it, the sacred number 11. So we're working with 11s and we're working with 7s in this one. So it was important that I did 11 rounds of 11 beads. And then there were around 11 rounds of 7 beads. And in the middle is a pearl. Now, in the painting, in the middle of the heart of Mary is a pearl sitting in a flame engulfed in a um, heart within a heart within a heart. This was important to be a part of the beads. Now after I got the beads, I said, all right, so what am I really supposed to do with these beads? She said, I'm going to give you a creed. Thus came the Magdalene Creed. And the creed says, I love and I am love. I am I and I am. I am forgiveness and I forgive, I am thankfulness, and I give thanks. And when she gave me that creed, I had to sit down and really personally just be with what that meant for me. I mean, I know the, the rosary for, for Mother Mary, but this was different. In the rosary for Mother Mary, it was speaking to the mother. In this one, it's going within and speaking to the I am of self. And it's a realization of the depth of the divine and who we really are. It says, I am love and I love. I am I and I am. I am forgiveness and I forgive. I am thankfulness and I give thanks. And the creed is something that you use with the Magdalene beads, which are set with uh, 11 sets of 11 beads with sets of seven beads and it has pearls with them that then radiate and connect in with the Magdalene portrait. I'll just give you a sampling of how the beads work. So I'll start off with the first beads and it says, I am love and I love, I love, I am. I forgive, I give thanks. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. I am love and I love. I am I and I am. I am forgiveness and I forgive. I am thankfulness and I give thanks. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. And then this is repeated throughout. What happens for me when I do that is I experience the very, very deep, 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 deep yawns, those deep cleansing, releasing yawns, and you see the tears coming down in my face. And then that allows me to go into a very, very beautiful meditation where I am connecting on a deeper and deeper level with Magdalene and going into that space between space. I have been instructed with, with Mary to do some greeting cards because she is saying to me, this picture of Magdalene, this picture of her, will travel around the world. Thank you.